channel, this is Tita Lavinia of Tita's of Pageantry. And for this episode, I have the beautiful Francesca Tarok of Binibining Pilipinas. Good evening, Francesca. Or Fran, because close na kami. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Tita. So, guys, kung hindi nga na itatanong, hindi ko aalisin ang aking fezlap dito sa video na to because <laughs> Fran generously sent me some food. Ayan, kung nakikita ninyo. So, meron pa akong cookie. So, medyo mukbang ang uh, beauty natin ngayon. So, this is from Chili. So, thank you so much. Talagang papatabain mo talaga ako sa screen. Gusto mo talaga yun. Gusto ko mag-enjoy tayo pareho. True ka naman dyan. True ka dyan. How are you, Fran? I'm doing good. I'm actually excited. Siyempre, one year na rin before nung, I mean, one year na rin kami na, na postponed. And before, if mapapansin nyo, tita, I wasn't really ready. Ewan ko if napansin nyo yun. So, hindi, ngayon, hindi naman. Ko, talaga ba? Wow. Hindi wow. naman. Hindi naman. Wow. Okay. Pero lagi kong sinishare sa mga girls noon is, I was really depressed. I was not on my best self. Kasi, baka mamaya, actually, niyakan ko yung unang photo ko sa Binibining Pilipinas. Yung brown. If okay. Okay. Ka dun, tita, yung pinakaunang portrait. Oh, 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 oh. Kasi sabi ko, oh no, oh no, ba't ganito yung isura ko? Ay, malungkot, parang pagod na pagod. Tapos, okay. sabi ko, hala, hindi na ito mabubura. <laughs> Forever na yan. So, yun. And then, <laughs> hindi na siyang mabubura. So now, I'm more relaxed, pero mas palaban. Pero friend, let's go back to that. Um, I want to know, because syempre, when you decide to join a national pageant, lalo na sa katulad mo na nakapag-represent na sa si ibang bansa, mm-hmm. why would you be depressed and why would you go into a pageant na hindi ka ready? I just want to understand the mindset. Was it because pinilit ka? Was it because medyo may pressure everywhere because you're tall, you're beautiful, and people would always say, you know, go push for the pageants. Um, please share, baka naman makatulong to sa mga aspiring beauty queens as well. To be honest, Tita, di ba nanalo po ako sa ibang bansa? Mm. And then sobrang daming projects, sunod-sunod, sobrang daming work. And then, nung mga parang patapos na yung taon for 2019, nag-stop na ako mag-work nun. So, parang nawala, naramdaman ko na wala na ako ng purpose. And sobrang... Basta bigla na lang po ako inatake ng depression. And then, hindi din kami okay ng boyfriend ko nun. So, kaya pinush ko yung sarili ko na ibalik yung sarili ko by joining the Binibining Pilipinas. Actually, ako yata yung pinakalas na nag-audition. Ah. Ako yung pinakadulo. Or meron pang isa, pero hindi na yata siya tumuloy. So, parang ako yung considered na dulo. Mm-hmm. I was number 65. And then, nag-attend ako ng event ni Katrio na gay. Parang, Kita na, na, uh, nakita mo po yan. <laughs> uh, uh, parang na, na-inspire ako sa kanya na go for it. And then, yun yung naging sign ko na sumali. Then, sumali ako without even being prepared. Hindi ko alam kung ano mangyayari. Basta sumabak lang ako. Because I want to win myself back. Gusto kong mabalik yung dating Francesca. Gusto kong maalala, ano nga ba yung purpose ko dito sa mundong to? Kasi kapag nawala ka sa purpose mo, tita, or nawala yung passion mo, talagang, ano eh, malulungkot ka sa buhay. Oh. And then, Binibini helped me gain back myself. Kahit sobrang hirap in the process, um, wala talagang nagsusupport sa akin masyado nung una kasi nga sabi nila ay uh, mga sabi-sabi sa akin na paano ako tutulungan kung hindi ko matulungan yung sarili ko. So talagang pinush ko yung sarili ko na kahit malungkot ako sa loob, pinapakita ko sa labas na I am okay, I am strong. And then nag nagka-pandemic, so nakapag-reflect ako, nagkaroon ako ng time para makapag-reflect. I want to win. Not just for me but for my family, and para sa mga ibang tao, para makapag-inspire ako, and of course, to promote my advocacy, which is about mental health. Dahil pinagdaanan ko. And pinagdaanan ng mga loved ones and friends ko. Thank you so much for sharing this. Um, but, 
in terms of being okay, in terms of being centered, nasan tayo ngayon? Because Bini Bini will start their activities in the, the next few weeks or I think in the next few days. So it's going to be grueling. It's going to be even more competitive this time because as you know, may mga kandidata na rin na either um, hindi na nag-push o mga kandidata na na-appoint na elsewhere. So nasan tayo ngayon kasi mukhang open lahat for you. Um, noon kasi when you, the, when you screened for Binibining Pilipinas, there were heavy, heavy favorites na parang nakatoka na dun sa mga titles na yun eh. But this time mukhang open lahat, free for all, and all of you girls are stepping up. Nasan tayo ngayon? Actually, tita, dahil before sa mga dati kong pageants, parang sa ngayon ako na ako yung napapansin. Mm-hmm. Ako yung favorite or parang ako yung minamata. Pero nung binibining Pilipinas last year, hindi talaga. Or para ang hirap mapansin ako. So may part sa akin na nalulungkot ako. Parang dun ko mas napupush yung sarili ko. Hindi kailangan ko mapansin. Kailangan ko gumawa ng ganito. Ganyan. And then kaya ngayon, tinatay ko yung best ko. I mean, hindi tinatay yung best. Ginagawa ko yung best ko na makita at mapansin. True speaking naman. And kung mapapansin na wala akong masyadong photoshoots, wala akong masyadong pasabog, kasi nagpe-prepare ako sa public speaking ko. Uh-oh. All right. Um, okay din naman yung ganung idea. But I had also a conversation with a different Binibini. And uh, sa kanya naman, yung effect ng pandemic, medyo positive naman. Kasi katulad mo, parang na-recognize niya that this time is about reflecting, this time is about organizing your thoughts. Of course, uh, there were others na talagang mahirapan kasi talagang may problema financially, may problema na iangat yung buhay nila. But hindi naman natin talaga hindi pwedeng i-recognize yun. But in your case, um, have you found like a really good balance on how you can continue to present yourself? Kasi ang sabi ko nga dun sa binibini na nakausap ko, there are more than 100 million Filipinos kakaunti lang ang pwedeng magbinibining Pilipinas. Nakakalungkot naman kung yung binibining Pilipinas journey mo ay eh, ang bigat-bigat sa kalooban. So why would you why would you push yourself into something na ang lungkot mo, ang bigat ng pakiramdam mo? So why not find joy in pageantry? What gives you joy these days, Fran? Uh, I'm sorry, Tita. Medyo na po. What pa. gives you joy these days? Para naman maging worthwhile tong journey mo sa Binibini. Kasi you're young. If you don't make it this time, pwede pa naman. Pwede pa natin i-push yun sa ibang mga taon. But we're talking about now. So what's making you happy? What's helping you out this time around? Because of the pandemic, I learned to appreciate the little things in life. Mm-hmm. Because tomorrow is never promised, Tita. That is why I am also pushing my candidacy in Binibining Pilipinas. Ito talaga yung nagpapasaya sa akin, Tita. Um, gusto ko makapag-inspire sa mga tao through my life story. Na, uy, si Fran dati, ganito lang, ganyan. Ngayon, ito na siya. Kasi, pin- ano tawag dito? Kasi, pangarap ko to eh. And walang mga kapigil. Makulit ako sa pangarap ko, Tita. Before, walang masyadong, kahit, Yung family ko kasi hindi siya masyado supportive sa pageant life ko. Kasi ayaw mm. nila ako ma-depress. Kasi alam naman natin, pag natalo ka, pwede kang malungkot dito or mapahiya kapag di ka nakasagot ng maayos. Pero ito okay. talaga yung gusto ko. Gusto ko mas maraming maraming tao makinig sa akin. And because of Binibing Pilipinas, it gives me a platform na maraming makinig sa akin sa mga sasabihin ko. And especially with my advocacy po talaga help. Well, you talked about your family. Actually, one of the things na kaagad-agad kinakabit sa'yo is, of course, your last name. You are the granddaughter of Mr. Luis Tarok. Um, kung hindi alam ng mga tao, kasama siya sa uh, leader ng Hukba Lahap na talagang nakipaglaban ng panahon ng gera. So, of course, he is hailed as a hero. Does this add pressure on you na you have to act a certain way, you have to present yourself a certain way? Actually, nasa dugo ata kasi namin talaga yung palaban eh. Parang okay. hindi ko need i-push i- i- yung sarili ko na dapat ganito, ganyan. Parang natural siya. 
<laughs> natural na may palaban kaming dugo at matulungin. Since yung father ka rin is doctor. Ah, doctor si papa mo. Mm-hmm. No, um, I'm so sorry because I also read that your dad passed away at around this time. Kaya siguro medyo magulo rin yung isip mo because um, I, I read in an article about your pageant journey and how you sa pageant journey mo parang urong sulong ka there were pageants na parang dapat tutuloy ka tapos hindi na naman may naging problema sa visa tapos na steer ka naman sa ibang pageant and then you finally oh got God. that crown so parang may story kang ganun earlier is that I just want to understand the mindset kasi usually Kapag may nakukuranahan tayo ng mga girls na pinapadala natin sa ibang bansa kasi winner na sila sa nationals, medyo mahirap na sila to invite back or mahirap na silang interviewin kasi syempre iba na yung nag-handle sa kanila, mas iba na yung proseso. But sa batch ng Binibini Pilipinas this year, iilan lang kayo na nagkaroon ng international representation, whether it's a minor pageant or uh, a major one. I just want to understand, ano ba ang impression talaga ng mga nasa ibang bansa kapag meron na, silang na encounter na Philippine rep? Ano yung na-realize mo nung may Philippine sash ka na lumalaban sa China? No? Actually, kakatapos lang na laban ni Katriona Gray. Mm-hmm. Nung dumating ako sa China na nag-compete ako. And then... Siyempre, nare-recognize nila ako as Miss Philippines kasi parang nagkaroon na sila ng idea na pag Pilipina palaban. Mm-hmm. Pag Pilipina ready. Para sa akin po kasi, mas nakakatakot kalaban ng Pinay. Based sa experience <laughs> Oo, naman. ko. I mean, based, based sa experience ko, mas na-pressure po ako dito sa Binibining Pilipinas kasi sa Miss and Mr. Intercontinental. Dahil yung mga girls dito sa Binibining Pilipinas, talagang, alam mo yun, bigyan natin. Uh-huh. 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 Very competitive. So yung oh, very cutthroat. Yes, yes, yun. Yun po yung term. Very competitive. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pero doon, um, na-feel mo ba na parang meron kang special treatment or meron medyo... Um, Kumbaga, kung baga kung, kung sa powers ba, na-feel mo ba yung parang may tipong anting-anting na parang invisible na nag-resonate sa'yo dahil Philippine representative ka? Ako kasi parang yun na impression ko. Lalo na kapag um, nasa minor pageant tayo pero nagpapadala tayo ng mga major pageant-worthy girls. Feeling ko kasi hindi nagsislack off ang Pilipinas sa ganun din. Ikaw, anong tingin mo na nakapag-observe? <laughs> ako po kasi naniniwala ako sa law of attraction hmm. So kahit hindi ako sure Kung favorite nila ako Or kung napapansin nila ako Pinipil ko sa sarili ko Or nilalagay ko sa utak ko na mm, Ito na yung winner niya Ito na kahit wala pang ah, laban, na 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 siya. Ah. Inaano ko siya um, Sinasapuso ko siya At nilalagay ko siya sa isip ko You won the crown But anong meaning nun sa'yo? na ibalik ima- mo siya sa Pilipinas? For me po, kasi kakawala lang ng father ko noon. Mm-mm. So, wala nang nagtataguyod sa bahay. Mm-mm. And I think, dahil di ba nawala na po ako ng mga opportunities na parang dalawang pageant oh, na international hindi na tuloy sa akin. And then mm-hmm. after po mawala ng dad ko, parang after two weeks, nag-contact po yung national director ko na Uy, sa China, padala kita doon. Uh, nag- up, uh, in-approve ka na nila. And then, yung pumasok lang sa isip ko noon is, yung dad ko yun. Ah, Binibay ng dad ko yung opportunity na yun sa akin. Para ako na yung tutulong sa pamilya ko. Because after winning the crown, nagkaroon ako ng opportunities and work na nakapag-provide ako sa pamilya ko because of that. Good. Good for you. Um... I know that you come from a big family, tama ba? 14 kami magkakapatid. <laughs> Nakakalo kasi pa, 14 kayo magkakapatid at ikaw ang bunso. And then you're also contributing a lot to the family. So that really says a lot. And if things go I, your I, way... I, sorry, pa, you're, I yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm actually the one paying for the house. Ah, for the house. Yes, for the house. nirarat lang po kasi namin siya ngayon. Simula nung nawala yung dad ko, kailangan na namin i-rent yung house. So, monthly ako po yung nagbabayad. 
So, yun po yung contribution ko sa bahay namin. Malaking contribution, especially for someone like you, na bata yeah. pa. Um, ikaw pa rin yung youngest. So, I hope that this goes really well for you kasi alam naman yes. natin, you know, if you win a crown or if you get your name out there, of course, it's gonna open doors and of course, whatever financial um, like help or like financial opportunities that will come your way, malaking bagay yun, um, especially mm-hmm. at this time. Pero oh, malaking sacrifice rin to sa'yo, Fran. Um, we know naman that when you're preparing for Binibini Pilipinas, it doesn't involve magic and fairy dust. Kailangan ng pera dyan. Lalo na sa training, lalo na sa preparation, wardrobe, lahat na. Even the people around you. So I would assume that you are in a good place right now because on top of paying rent, on top of like whatever it is that you're spending for, um, there is probably extra room to also spend for Binibining Pilipinas. But the thing is, Kamusta ngayon ang training program mo? Kamusta yung prep work mo? Because we hardly see any materials from you. Sabi mo nga, wala kang masyadong mga photoshoots pa sabag. But what is happening? Are you training? Are you preparing for this? I'm actually training for q and I mm-hmm. even trained for this interview. Oh, do I been prepare ko talaga? Oh, like, paano po sumagot kapag interviews kasi magkaiba po kapag nasa stage and kapag mga interviews. Mm-hmm. So doon ko po talaga pina-prepare yung self ko. And also, nagpa-practice na rin po ako ng pasarela. Dapat may may sarili akong ano, Uh-oh. matatandaan ng mga tao. And uh, also, nagpe-prepare ako sa styling. Nakausap kung ngayon yung mga designers here para ma-arrange ko na kung kailan ko sila magagamit for Binibining Pilipinas mas schedule na po sila and also ngayon nagpa-photoshoot na po ako unlike before kasi before po busy rin po yung mga tao here sa Pampanga eh sila po talaga yung team ko eh so ngayon bumabawi na po ako mas marami na po kayong mga kitang Francesca sa social media <laughs> oo naman Para naman true-true sounds yung ating um, uh, IG account. Wala kami mahugot. Nahuhugot namin sa tita, mga makeup artist tita, nyo pa. Tita, share nyo ako ha. Laking tulong nun. <laughs> Nakakaloka ka. Sabi namin, paano tayo huhugot dito sa taong ko? Wala tayong mahugot. Kami Pero pa namin hindi ka sa pageantry. Ayaw namin humuhugot. Nang hindi pinost ni girl, kailangan mm-hmm. i-post muna ni girl. Kasi parang that makes it more legit. Because what we don't want ng tita sa pageantry is Baka they don't want to show it, you know, to a bigger audience. Kaya pinost sa makeup artist, pinost sa stylist. So, habi ko... Kinikilig ako mag-share niya ako. <laughs> kinikilig din naman kami. Kasi sometimes, of course, we get requests from your fans. Um, Siyempre, sometimes na-upset sila. Bakit hindi niya sinishare si ganito o si ganyan? So, we, try to, we try to look into, habi ko, ah, ganun ba? Baka naman yung algorithm namin eh, hindi nag-a-align. So, sabi ko, kaya siguro hindi namin nakikita. But, mm-hmm. but you are also very public because you do a lot of these YouTube videos. So, tuloy-tuloy pa rin ba yun? Actually, nag-stop na po ako, tita. Before... Oh, why? Hmm... Parang, paano ba? Ano ba? Is it because it's just too public? Or do you feel... Kasi I look at your your content. Mm. Yours is like a, a video diary of what you do in a day or maybe like your friends and things like that. For me, hindi pwede sa akin yun. Kasi unang-una, hindi naman ganun ka super fun yung buhay ko. Eh. Dito <laughs> lang naman ako sa bahay, di ba? But uh, I, I would suppose sometimes kapag ganun ang setup mo, may, medyo nagiging intrusive. Sometimes you have like people in your life na yes. one month nandito, the next month wala na. So I would rather, for me lang, at least keep my content like this, boxed mm-hmm. in this little mm-hmm. you know thing. Is, is that how you felt? Um, that's why you took um, a break from YouTube? May naman po is, mas gusto kasi ma-enjoy yung moment. Parang ayoko na mag-video here, mag-picture here. Mas gusto ko enjoy yung moment. Kasi parang feeling ko kapag may camera, nagiging scripted yung mga nangyayari eh. So di ba nga, nung pandemic, mas natutunan ko i-appreciate yung life, yung mga little things na nangyayari sa life ko. So yun po, kaya hindi muna ako nag-YouTube. Wow, thank you. That's a different perspective. Kasi... Uh, alam naman natin ngayon, Fran, a lot of people are really trying to go into vlogging, trying to go mm-hmm. into, I don't know, maybe a level that's 
very similar to like an influencer level. So I don't know if this is like the goal of people these days because of course you get perks, the yes. like in exchange for like so this one really is like you get to earn. Oh, oh, this one is perk mm. for me. Like food is like perk for me. Like before doing it, wala naman ang papadala sa akin. So I, I definitely recognize um why a lot of people are trying to go this um mm-hmm. this way. Pero yun nga sabi mo nga sometimes lalo na sa kind of content na pinuproduce mo, you, you kind of lose footing kung ano ba yung mm. you know what's happening around. Mm. So, um, parang nasiscripted. Uh, ako sa life ko kapag ganun. Medyo nina-nervous ako lalo na pag may mga tao of course sa paligid na involved dun sa video to so maya-maya hindi na kayo friends. At, alam mo uh, yun, uh, parang how do you uh, delete uh, that? Di ba? How do you like remove that from your life? Hindi hmm. naman yan katulak na. Di ba? Oo. Um, lalo na siguro pag meron jowa involved tapos maya-maya <laughs> lahat ng tao involved na kung nag-away kayo o, o LQ <laughs> kayo o ano na-experience ko yun before OMG pero huwag na natin ano <laughs> Awag na natin sa ibang tao. Pero di ba can you imagine na lahat sila involved sa buhay mo? Tapos lahat sila may input, mga kalokan. Alright, so maraming maraming salamat, Francesca. We wish you the best. Um, right now, you are in a really good position. So all you have to do is really do your best in the finals. Kasi kung medyo worried ka na, noon, wala kang masyadong recognition. Wala kang kailangan i-worry ngayon because your name is one of the names that you, you know, pops up when we talk about pageant girls at this really? time. Yeah, of course, yes. Um, you're one of the girls that uh-huh. um, pageant f- fans are eyeing for Miss International. So, if all goes well, sana naman, um, matuloy lahat ng mga wish nyo na yan. And if not, yeah. ano ba naman ang mag-manage ng expectations? Hindi naman masama, di ba? So, maraming maraming salamat. Thank you for spending salamat po, this niya. evening. And your lapang. Maraming salamat. Ha? Tita, cheers! Asa na yung mga... Asa na ba? Asa na? Nasa mababahala na all. Cheers! <laughs>